was a little bit of boy, just up on the floor. We used to go out to Grandma's house every month in the sun. We'd have chicken pie, country ham, homemade butter on the bread. But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big little bit. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four little geese, whole boat to call for the tick. It could hold eight kids, four hound dogs, and a pretty wee stone from the ship. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun at Grandma's little bed. Well, after supper, we'd sit around the fire, the old folks would spit and chew. Paul would talk about the farm and the war, and the grandma singing ballad or two. Well, I'd sit and listen and watch the fire till the cobweb filled my head. Next thing I know, I'd wake up in the morning and you know, go for the bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four lemon geese, took a whole boat to call for the tick. It would hold eight kids, four hound dogs, and a pretty we stole from the ship. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a little fun. Grandma's feather bed. Well, I love them all, and I love my pa. Love Granny and Grandpa, too. I've been fishing with my uncle, I wrestled with my cousin, I even kissed Aunt Lou. Ooh, but if I ever had to make a choice, I think it ought to be said that I'd trade them all, plus the gal down the road, Grandma's feather bed. Well, maybe not the gal down the road. Yeah, I'd trade them all, plus the gal down the road, Grandma's feather bed. Thanks, guys.